Selamat siang. Uh, good morning. Uh, okay, hi everyone. So today I will present uh, getting involved uh, with uh, Ubuntu. My name is uh, Kairul Aizat. I'm one of the uh, Ubuntu membership board. So a little bit about me. I was a former R&D engineer at uh, OCC Mampu Open Source Competency Center. Uh, advisor and uh, consultant for government agency related to open source software and I was one of the business development and a project manager for a few private companies and involved with a government project. Okay, currently I'm uh, the one of the Ubuntu members since uh, 2008 and since 20, uh, 2012 I'm being uh, one of the uh, Ubuntu membership board until today. Uh, I'm still involved with a project within uh, Ubuntu, primarily focused on community, education, government and enterprise. Uh, I'm one of the uh, member of uh, GNOME Foundation members as well and organizer for Ubucon Asia and GNOME Summit. So for this event, I'm with the uh, local uh, community who are involved uh, in making this event happen. Uh, I do also coordinate and lead the Ubuntu Malaysia local team and the uh, OpenStack group. So I'm recently with the one of the uh, public cloud and uh, public and private cloud provider in Malaysia. Okay, I want to talk about distributions. It means that whereby the distributions who currently are contributing to open source, right? So there is a company interested in development of a product to fit their industry needs. Companies with a profit from supporting their open source program. Uh, there is also a volunteer professional doing development in their free time for fun or to advance their career. Hobbyists and students who enjoy the work. Okay, this is uh, sorry. This is uh, among who are currently uh, contributing to open source, but there is more. Okay, uh, how to get involved? So basically, before you get involved, you need to ask why or why you, uh, what will you want to, what you want to contribute, and uh, number two, what can you do, and how do you start to contributing to Ubuntu or any open source project? Okay, why I say uh, why you should contribute? Yeah, first you might able to join the any uh, conference worldwide. That means like this uh, Loka or maybe the other rest of the projects like uh, Libre conference and all other open source uh, around the world. And of course, when you participate uh, with the conference. You might have a new friends. Uh, that's why I met Mr. Lota in one of the event in uh, Asia. It's a Force Asia. I think this year, right, Mr. Lota? Yeah. And of course, while meeting uh, the foreign speakers, and I also have an opportunity to meet anak-anak the university universitas atau sebagainya, kan? Then uh, we can have a fun when. Uh, Actually, this is more like a reward. When you do contributions, you might be acknowledged, then you bring uh, flew to any countries. Okay, yeah, of course, apart from it, you can have a site visit or tour of the city where 
the event was held and then of course uh, with the opportunity you might have a career you can further your career either like to for example the Ubuntu into the canonical or maybe for the uh, TDF you can go to one of the uh, enterprise support company like uh, Colobra and a few others uh, enterprise companies and last but not least you actually uh, Bawani so should be here uh, for being one of the speakers so basically like this uh, summit the uh, last year summit in uh, Prague so basically it's like uh, what you call I can meet him after a decade I mean it's like because I first I met him in the first Ubuntu developer summit was back in uh, state around 2010 <coughs> after 12 years I can meet him again so like Mr. Lota I meet like uh, uh, the first Asia and today I can meet Mr. Lota and the rest like even like the local community like Pak Haris, Pak Didi and, and everyone so basically I meet them on the previous uh, Gnome Access Summit uh, 2019 in Gresik, Surabaya so after four years so yeah after the pandemic and endemic so I managed to meet them again so you can reunite your relationship with the community so what can you, uh, what can you contribute so first of all like writing codes or any pages of the applications uh, reporting bugs you can do the testings of the application for example like the Ubuntu operating system or the uh, LibreOffice applications and but not only tied to any test testing the lesser is like doing the documentation so you can do the documentation either how to use how to edit how to how to debug and everything into your own uh, local language like Indonesian language, Malaysia language, Germany language right and a part of uh, contributing to the documentations so you might also have uh, contributions for the UI and UX for example I think this is basically I admire the uh, uh, Indonesian community whereby you guys have a Ginscape community which is a very artistic for me so I really admire uh, the uh, Pak Rania team for the Ginscape and you can do a community event means that you can do meetups you can have a discussions uh, and so forth and of course the community event so is like a part of this event for example may, uh, maybe Panitia Panitia bisa uh, mohon untuk uh, menjadi Ubuntu membership selepas ini kerana uh, itu adalah salah satu juga apa, hasil atau kontribusi uh, dari kalian kepada projek terutamanya seperti Ubuntu maupun LibreOffice dan uh, last but not least uh, you're doing the uh, promoting or enthusiast means like uh, you spread among uh, for example you are the students you might spread the use of uh, the operating system for example the Ubuntu in this case and then how to use uh, LibreOffice I mean, so as an alternative or is a permanent solution to be like an office documentation okay so what you need to do for the first step so you need to have a single sign-on ID whereby you can create your account at this uh, URL so whereby you can have the SSO ID then you after that after you have a SSO ID you can go to uh, loco.ubuntu.com uh, slash team this is the page so here you can have information how to join the local community how to create uh, Ubuntu local local uh, community if uh, not available in the country but of course Indonesia already have so you can just join 
And then uh, in this portal also there is uh, Ubuntu local community verification. Why uh, this? Uh, uh, we have this uh, community verification because uh, right now the Ubuntu community councils and the uh, the rest uh, the canonical community managers are reviving. I mean like rebooting all the locals. So basically the projects means like being let. Uh, been slow for a few years so now we are rebooting all the locals so there is a Ubuntu local community frequent ask question as well so from this page when you want to join so you can see uh, the country where and which is already have I think in Europe like Mr. Lota I think German haven't yet Maybe yeah, you can try to whisper to any local or you yourself can be if you feel like you want to reboot the local community, you are most uh, welcome. So like in Asia also actually uh, this one the, the letters uh, which are listed here is the one that re, re, uh, re approved. It doesn't mean that the rest of the country don't have. I mean like uh, like for example the German I think they have a community. But this is like an inactive community. So right now, uh, the community councils are opening up uh, positions for the uh, Ubuntu local council. I mean, we will, we will have a voting I think next coming weeks. Yeah, we will announce and having the votes. Okay. So part of it, how to begin? I mean, like. First, you can go to the project website, for example, the Ubuntu uh, delivery office. You have defined what you want to contribute. For example, uh, uh, like the GNOME, or, and then the, to be specific, like I mentioned earlier, either the, the smallest contribution can be uh, translation. I mean, it's like translating from uh, English to your local uh, the local language or doing the documentation so you can join the mailing list and uh, chat or currently uh, Ubuntu focusing on the discourse platform so whereby you have uh, any questions or any uh, <coughs> difficulties you can refer to the discourse and referring to the right uh, project and teams and uh, actually why I feel like feel for community means like you have need to have a patient for some all for any open source software that you want to contribute right so it cannot be you are not like being forced to uh, contributing to the uh, projects or community and uh, after that you may get the task or start contributing whereby for example the task right when uh, I think uh, Earlier, there is like uh, Pak Utian mentions there's a box or something, so you need to define. For example, if you, like I give an example earlier, if you want to do a translation, you, you go to the translation page and you, you have a task, then you start contributing, you start translating the, uh, the translations, or maybe you can start documenting where you feel either there is a document documentation for that particular project or it lack of information on that particular project so you can contribute to that uh, applications so after actually after all uh, you are contributing so you justify you feel that you sufficient enough uh, contributing then you can apply for membership I think the, this one, this side is the, our Yubukon Asia logo. Not be here. So the application process, I think it's just a few uh, processes uh, uh, evolve. First, you need to do the uh, write-up, your background or your profile. Uh, uh, where are you? Where are you from? Uh, what are you contributing on the Discord? <coughs> And of course, uh, you first you need to sign off the uh, code of conduct. The, uh, I will explain about the 
code, code of conduct letter. And then there will be a uh, interview sessions with the uh, membership board. So basically, I'm one of it. I think there is like a less, uh, currently remaining less than ten uh, the, the membership board. So the interview will be done on RSC channel. It's a Ubuntu, uh, hashtag Ubuntu dash meeting channel. So this is what. Uh, I will explain about the good of conduct. So basically, first, respect for others. So members of UBT community are expect to treat others with respect regardless of their background, belief, or opinion. Because like we are in community, right? So we have a multiple conti uh, continent. For example, like we have uh, foreign speakers, and then we have a local speakers or local audience so this is some things that uh, the code of conduct will we we have a guideline so without this so i think anything can happen so collaboration member of the ubuntu community are encouraged to work together and collaborate on the project and share their knowledge and expertise with others so yeah like sepertinya di sini uh, ada veteran-veteran komunitas uh, sumber terbuka enggak? Jadinya kalian uh, seperti uh, boleh dijadikan sebagai mentor and mentee. This is how uh, fall under collaboration. So means like the senior will help the juniors who are starting contributing to open source. Uh, there is a responsibility. Members of the Ubuntu community are responsible for their actions and their impact on others and are expected to take ownership of their mistake. So, basically, uh, kita harus bertanggungjawab juga ya. Uh, for, uh, sekiranya kita ada melakukan sedikit kesilapan ataupun kekilafan mungkin di antara uh, pengguna-pengguna di uh, Ubuntu ataupun komunitas-komunitas open uh, sumber terbuka yang lain jadi harusnya kita uh, we cannot be denial why whatever we mistake i think of course we need to discuss uh, with us and then we should accept we cannot be a denial whereby even our opinion is uh, di different but we need to have uh, discussions to solve the issues so diversity. So the Ubuntu community values diversity and exclusivity is a committed to creating a welcoming and supportive environment uh, of for all members. So yeah, kita, we have to have a diversity so to welcome the new members. So we cannot be like very judgment or a dictation or something. We are need to open to to welcome all the members on board and we need to have a freedom so the Ubuntu community is built on the principle of free software and open source and members are encouraged to uphold the values and promote them to the others so kita punya kebebasan atau kemerdekaan untuk uh, melakukan uh, kontribusi kepada sumber terbuka baik we also, yeah, from daripada openness, so we can promote it to the others uh, members or any other projects. So, last but not least, Ubuntu Code of Conduct applies to all members of Ubuntu community, including developers, contributors, users, volunteers, uh, and it provides a framework for resolving conflicts and addressing issues that arise to encourage members to work together. Di mana? Seperti yang saya maklumkan tadi, Code of Conduct adalah satu garis panduan. I mean, it's a guideline untuk membantu menyelesaikan konflik-konflik sekiranya ada di antara kita semua. Sama ada daripada speakers, daripada kontribusi, maupun daripada contributor contributor uh, local communities kita uh, this is uh, conduct is our guideline to to solve the problems or conflicts if we don't have a 
guideline, it might be difficult. So we are might pinpointing and no one, I mean, like we keep blaming each other. So code conduct will be one of it. So the application processes, I think it's just a few steps. Just now, uh, previously, I've shown you need to upload to the discourse. So prepare your applications at uh, this course or wiki, but pre uh, wiki.ubutu.com previously we used that. But on the recent uh, change, uh, change, so we just focus on the discourse for your applications to be a membership. Then you need to sign a code of conduct, just now I mentioned. And after you write your applications on this course, you will need to get a testimonial if possible. For example, like, siapa mas namanya? Sorry? Aldi. Ali. Aldi. Aldi. Okay, sekiranya uh, Aldi ingin memohon uh, untuk menjadi uh, Ubuntu membership, right? jadinya harus Aldi harus um, to get a unit to get testimonial daripada contohnya Pak Yudi daripada Pak Didet ataupun uh, beberapa veteran-veteran uh, yang lain jadinya untuk di mereka mengesahkan mereka akan uh, they will verify your contributions to their project for example if uh, you say you contribute to uh, Ubuntu, you find somebody in your local or maybe if you contribute to LibreOffice, maybe you can find Mr. Lota, I mean Mr. Lota, hey, uh, I've done this and this, so maybe Mr. Lota can verify, oh, this Aldi is already do translations in Indonesia, for example. So maybe that's, I think it's uh, most likely in line, right, with the uh, DDF processes, right? And so, yeah, it seems. It means like, like Mr. Lotal session is this morning. So, whereby if you're contributing to uh, PDF, uh, the document foundations, you might apply. Maybe like you, if you're using Ubuntu, you do a translation for Ubuntu. I mean, like, and then the uh, TDF, you do, a, for example, a translation as well. It will be your plus one, whereby you can try to apply for Ubuntu membership and then the uh, document foundation membership. Okay, after you get the uh, testimonial, so yeah, like I said uh, earlier, after you have uh, uh, post your application in this course, you already signed the uh, code of conduct, you, uh, you need to have your IRC team. You need to uh, internet relay chat uh, with a registered name. For example, I, I give for example just Aldi as well. So why we need to, uh, you need to register because we want to actually confirm that you are really Aldi, not Aldi one two three Aldi ABC, right? With other Aldi, All right? So once you have uh, IRC, so this is whereby just now I mentioned your applications will be reviewed and interviewed by the board members, right? So uh, we among the uh, Ubuntu membership will review uh, for what you already put on your application you say you contribute this you contribute codes to this you contribute packs for this blah 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 list 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 list, list, list. so yeah it's a really good that you have a long uh, so broad of uh, contributions and then we will see oh there's someone like any veteran uh, uh, users or community uh, in the projects verify. Oh, Aldi, yeah, uh, good to have Aldi in the, this project ABC. He done a good job. I mean, he did a great job while doing this trans translation with uh, their university colleague. You know, so yeah, there will be a plus one. So if we go to the process, and then we among the board members based on what you contribute and the merit you get from the testimonial. Yeah. Then finally, you are being 
certified to be one of the Ubuntu membership uh, Ubuntu membership members, and you will get this uh, physical certificate signed by Mark Shuttleworth. He's the founder of uh, Ubuntu. He will be shipped directly to your uh, addresses that you uh, define. So, any questions so far? Oh, yeah. yeah so, this application uh, is it limited to like in a certain way to do it for the company or uh, could we like uh, contribute to like the other canonical project? Because like uh, I've seen some canonical project that I'm kind of interested in yep. somehow. So, uh, I, will, uh, I will ask if this extends to other canonical projects. Okay. Actually, there is a two membership, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's not mistaken. Yeah, it's a two. One is a general one, the Ubuntu membership board, and there is one, Ubuntu developer membership. So, whereby, because we are the, uh, inside, the, uh, inside the board of the, uh, for like so called general contributions to Ubuntu, we, uh, if you like love uh, codes and you want to do contributes like uh, patchings and packagings the Ubuntu package. There is uh, another council, uh, means like uh, the Ubuntu developer board. So they will, uh, you can apply over there as well. Nah, yeah, the, that's uh, means like it's related uh, to others uh, canonical projects, for example. Yeah. Because like, uh, well, uh, for daily basis, okay. uh, actually I don't use Ubuntu. Okay. Well, I still use it because of course that. Okay. Uh, is that a hurdle for me? No, it, it, because like uh, like I mentioned, so we, yeah, from maybe early, uh, just now, I mean, this is uh, how you can uh, contribute. Right, there's this, a lot of uh, processes like just now. So I think a session uh, with Mr. Franklin. I mean, like if you are. Uh, Good at codes, you want to go with codes. Either, like I mentioned, so if like Pak Rania, good in doing artwork, so you can contribute in artwork, uh, artwork. and you're writing box and uh, it's fine at testing. So you you love to do testing, you just do the testing. And if you do only documentations, yeah, you can just focus. So you just uh, first you just uh, apply the application. So for example, we from the board, if we go through our uh, attitude, so senang mau bicara, don't give up, jangan mengalah. Jadi sekiranya uh, kalau kontribusi kontribusinya enggak mencukupi, kami akan beritahu uh, mungkin boleh ditambah lagi, ditambah baik lagi. Tapi sekiranya sudah panjang, sudah banyak listnya, jadi kami lihat uh, testimonial daripada veteran-veteran atau, uh, atau daripada project leader jadinya macam tadi Pak uh, Mas Aldi ni Mas apa? Uh, sorry? Uh, Dapak uh, Mas Dapak I mean like the project leader oh uh, 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 Mr. Dapak is already uh, okay good uh, contributions to this project yada 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 so yeah we we might approve it yeah is so you are using which distro? I mean that opens that. Uh, yeah, it's still open. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it, it won't mind. I mean, like because like the contribution, even we don't have a oblig, we don't basically have obligations. I think on, on using, but of course, usually who uh, I mean. Well, I don't use Windows, of course. Sorry. I don't use Windows, of course. <laughs> but the other way, I can also say I use Windows as well. Yeah. But it's just not a primary uh, operating system for the Windows. Yeah. But yeah, you can just uh, contribute. But usually, to be uphold the Ubuntu membership, you are most welcome basically to use the specific distributions. Uh. But uh, I'm not saying it's a compulsory. But you are most welcome to to yeah to change. But we cannot dictate your flavors, right? So you, you, you for example. What I mentioned is, for example, if you're using 
at Selina. Maybe you want to contribute to KDE. I mean, like the desktop environment, GNOME or KDE. Yeah. You can just justify, but the only testimonial should come with from the GNOME. Uh, okay. You have any other questions from the floor? Berkaitan aplikasi permohonan menjadi Ubuntu members? Ada enggak? Enggak. Mr. Lutar, you have something to share? No, I, I, I'm okay. I mean, yeah, we have a both session. It's quite similar. The yeah. process is uh, quite similar. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, in, in the documentation, it's interesting to see that it's the same <laughs> principle behind. Yeah, okay. First contribute, have testimonials, and then get uh, the recognition for that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, I think uh, without... Any any questions? Pak Piko? Okay. Yesterday I saw uh, I attend your slot I mean about step maybe maybe you should you I mean no well, what, what I see is good to have I mean there is a uh, local uh, exploring the snaps but I see there's uh, some you might uh, didn't get some information to do the development processes are you doing DIY yourself or you are referring to any uh, project members about uh, creating a sna uh, snap package? Uh, yeah, after uh, this my the project, I think uh, I'm not still with Arab, uh, the program is like one third. When I will get back from that one, I think I will tell what to do. Yeah. So, more Yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting topic where you, uh, it's good so you are making a comparison between uh, Flappa and Snagraf but I think, I think yeah, I mean both of them have different ways to go but I think yeah, maybe I can help you yeah, introduce you to the, uh, the, the Snap team so you, maybe you can uh, furthermore sharpen up your skills on developing the uh, snap package. For example, like yesterday, oh, you also didn't manage to get how to make the icons appear on your apps. Right? For for example, I'm I, I'm not I'm not saying that you are not good. You are really actually you are good, better than me. I mean, I haven't created the package yet. Yeah, that's something usually the learning process. And then maybe if you love to do that packaging, and so yeah, you can. Uh, there is a few more like the GNOME package that haven't been snapped yet. So maybe yeah, you maybe if you <coughs> have that particular interest, you might join the uh, snapper team and keep uh, continue <coughs> contributing on uh, snap. Pak Didi, ada pertanyaan atau komus ke? It's it's good. <laughs> okay, okay. I think uh, that's all for me. If anything, I will be still be here until tomorrow. Kalau masih ada pertanyaan. Bisa cari dan uh, bisa bertanya. Okay, itu saja. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you very much.